Is it worth farming legacy caches for system corruption? Today, we're going to find out. Hey, Banditos. So today, we're farming the very unique system corruptions gear which is now even better than ever thanks to the season 11 ninja bike backpack it's going to be more useful for pve builds so if you don't know what system corruption is basically it's a dark zone exclusive gear set and two pieces give you 15 percent armor on kill and that's what we're really after but beyond that three pieces give you pulse resistance and disrupt resistance which is really helpful against those hunters and also in the dark zone and then the talent which is the protocol replace armor kits with an instant infinite use of so it doesn't only heal you, but it makes you invisible by hiding your nameplate, which is really good for the dark zone. Not so useful for PVE content, but it's also going to increase your total weapon damage depending on how much bonus armor you have. And so that's what makes it really cool, even for PVE. So with every season comes these global events. We just have polarity switch. And when you play these global events, you earn these red stars that you can spend at this vendor. And this time I spent my stars on as many legacy cash as I can get my hands on. They contain two items for 12 gold stars. So it's a pretty good deal. It's like six gold stars per item, similar to the named item caches. But this is the only other way that you can farm systems corruption outside of the dark zone. And that's because systems corruption was on a rewards track in season one. And so legacy season caches give you the possibility of getting anything that was on a previous season reward track we are on season 10 so the possibilities are great on what we can receive so you can get things like hunter's fury and eclipse protocol which is sort of a waste we just don't need that stuff but you can also get things like the dark winter or of course that system corruption so so i purchased 16 caches let's see how many of these have system corruption in them and if it's worth farming legacy season caches for system corruption two named items up right off the bat says the scalpel which uh, has future perfection and then the everlasting gaze which has perfect perpetuation uh, rigor and PDR, two things I definitely am not interested in getting. <laughs> All right. Strikers and system corruption on our third cache. Right on, right on. System corruption, beautiful. So I'm trying to get my hands on as much system corruption as I can. It's got max skill haste, really good rolls on it. Now I'm probably not gonna hold on to that skill haste at all, but weapon damage is of course is useful. So I can put crit chance and crit damage or whatever I need down there. So very flexible use. And that's only our third cache, guys. So that's a really good rate. I'm not sure if I'm shocked yet, we'll see. All right, come on, more system corruption. And another one on our fourth cache. Look at that, two in a row. So the odds are good. I don't know what's what's up with this. So this isn't the first time I've done this. So I've done this in the past to get system corruption and I also had uh, good odds. So look at that, another mask and this one's got crit chance. So probably I'll keep the crit chance on this one and then roll that weapon damage core over to armor or skill tier depending on what I need. So of course these are gonna go really well with the ninja bike backpack because the ninja bike is gonna unlock that second piece and you get 15% armor on kill, which is not quite like running Bellstone and Uzina Getica together with the Ninja Bike, but it's almost there and you get to consolidate them into a single piece. So that's the goal here. Even if these aren't useful for you, you can break them down in craft system corruption. Of course, you need as many weaves as possible to do that. 50% RNG give here. And Hunter's Fury in a mop, so don't need that. Not bad rolls though, as you can see, the rolls are really good. Hunter's Fury, the Devil's Do, nice. That's a Dark Zone exclusive right there. Another Hunter's Fury backpack, but the Devil's Do is very, very good. So it's got actually a really good one too. Status effects, headshot damage, max rolls there. Very good payout here. That's probably gonna be a keeper for me. I already have one, but mine doesn't have headshot damage on it. And if you don't need crit chance, you can put crit damage there as the secondary roll. Make that a strong backpack. Uh, all right, nothing interesting there. Those are just regular weapons. A systems corruption backpack. Wow. So there's our third system corruption piece. Very good. So there's a system corruption backpack. Very nice. And so this is going to increase the hack set protocol bonus armor from 50% to 100%, which is good. We love bonus armor in this game. Of course, uh, this would be good for like a full set if you're going to put together a full build here uh, because the ninja bike builds, obviously, you're not going to run a backpack. So there's one, there's two, there's three. So we've opened eight and we got three out of eight, almost 50% chance. Wow, not bad. All right, let's get another one. 
another system corruption so this pays out guys you got to do this next the next global event that we have that's four out of nine caches devs must know that this is like a good way to get system corruption outside of the dark zone and they must uh, improve the rng on these because that's crazy another mask though i don't i mean it's got armor regen not the worst thing but so it's four out of nine uh eclipse protocol we don't need this no we don't need those Let's see the rolls though that's a nice roll hunter's fury you know Back of boomstick. Ooh, I do need one of those. That's a Dark Zone ex uh, exclusive. Ooh, it is beautiful. It's God rolled. It's got reload speed on it, though. Um, that sucks. But it does cavern sync. Maybe. Maybe it's a good keeper, but this is a really good shotgun. You can one tap enemies with this. So definitely get your hands on this. Back of boomstick. Also, named item caches can get you that, too. Everyday carrier. Not that helpful. I do need the backpack version of this, the named backpack. Harmony, Everlasting Gaze. Strikers and Hunter's Fury, so nothing super helpful there. Uh, Strikers goes with Hasbro. Uh, that's actually, actually pretty good. I might keep that one uh, for the backfire. So yeah, I mean, so that's, I feel like that's like really, really good odds, right? So I had 16 caches and four of them paid out. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I mean, that's like a 25% return. I'm mean, a lot of masks though. Uh, that's the one thing, but there's one there very usable uh, And then I'll crush the ones I don't need obviously so that one I'll definitely keep because uh, it's got crit chance on it That's always helpful But that's two and then devil's do is a keeper So still keepers even though not everything was system crusher backpack So there's a third one and then another mask So there are lots of masks here, but still so that's the fourth one right there and not everything was away So there's lots of other keepers here, too So I definitely recommend you try this systems corruption is very very helpful It's an easy 15% armor on kill with that ninja bike backpack And so in I in my opinion, it's better than running Uzina and Bellstone if you don't have to run those hope this was helpful everybody See you on the next one Follow me.